What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Of course, Endura came out with a new size of these uh, Swamp Claws, so I had to get my hands on them. It's pretty neat that they, they're they offering them with the wheel, uh, but it looks like they're not fully mounted yet. So, let's go ahead and uh, open these up. So here's the smaller version that they have. see somewhat of a difference here it's a good size good size tire at first I thought it might be too big for this little 24 scale um, but I think it might be okay <clears throat> very sticky just like the original um, doesn't come mounted it has the wheel sitting inside of the tire without the screws on so what I'm going to go ahead and do is um, go ahead and, and get these mounted up on the, the wheel on the tire and um, then figure out a rig to put them on. I don't know if I'm going to put them on this one. These ones haven't seen, this rig hasn't seen new tires in a while, so I feel like maybe put it on there. I don't know, we'll see, but get to mounting these. Alright, got this first one mounted up. It looks really well. I mean, really, it looks really good. Um, I like how it doesn't have a bazillion screws all the way around, just the ones in the center. I was going to vent these, but then, actually I forgot, but the wheels are vented, it sounds like, so don't need to poke any holes, um, any punches, so I'm going to go ahead and mount up the other three, and then we'll, I'm thinking we're going to put them on this rig, um, but I'm still trying to decide. So let me get these mounted up and we will go from there. All right, I got them mounted up and I got to say, they look fantastic. I think they did a great job on this combo here. Uh, they are super sticky. That's they are sorry. There's the mosquito. They are super sticky, which is which is awesome, which I love. Um, so I'm thinking I'm gonna put them on here right now on this little comp rig. I've got the uh, little guy racing Swamp Kings, which I mean I absolutely love these tires. But I'm thinking maybe throw these on there, to give a new look, and then we will take these outside and see how well they perform. obstacles but um, yeah and I, I made a mistake of getting them wet and trying to go crawl with them but um, they still still held up pretty well got a little slick because of the uh, of getting wet but uh, they dried off later on in the video and uh, they did they did really well.
So a little bit about this rig. So the chassis, uh, the motor, um, and the links are all from Fury Tech. You can see there's a big the Komodo uh, motor stuffed in there with the uh, ESC and receiver. So it makes it a tight fit for everything. So I thought about maybe downsizing to the smaller one. Um, the, the shocks are from Hot Racing. Um, the steering servo is a no superior design, the RS100 Micro. It turns this thing really well, especially with all the, the weight we have on here, plus all these big big tires. Now the portal axles are from RC all-wheel drive. I've never had any issues with these. I know some people have said that they've had issues with the axles breaking and and whatnot. Uh, never had any issues with anything. They've they've always held up for me. The drive shafts are from Endura. So going through here, I I spotted another rocky area. Just you know, down a little way, so I figured, hey, let's do a little trail ride through the sand to see see how it holds up. I and mean, obviously, the kind of sand's wet from all the rain, but um, it, it clears out pretty decent. Um, you know, so far I'm I'm liking this these tires, these bigger ones, but I I feel like maybe for this rig, um, I think it's just too big. I think I just don't I don't care for the look. Of it on this rig, I really do like the the how I have the, the smaller um, normal size uh, little guy racing Swamp Kings on there. They perform really well for me, and and uh, yeah, I I really like them.